And if it sounds a little bit weird when people start to say virus, I want to say this, that, you know, you're eating them all the time on leaves. Even if you rinse them, they're in the plants, they're on plants. There's a lot of interesting research to show that soil and uh, viral ecology is very mixed. Certain viruses go into the soil, they affect the microbes in that area, and then they maybe get lifted up by wind and then travel. Isn't that crazy? Like, I didn't even think about this 10 years ago. Yeah. How would you go about getting and, and applying a caterpillar virus? <laughs> yeah. Well, just like BT, basically. In nature, what happens is that there's a few different pathways, but wind is a big one. Dust, particles, things like that they attach to. Uh, they might precipitate out in rain. They, le they get onto the leaves. Caterpillar comes and eats it. Usually you don't get viral load or bacteria, or for that matter, it's the same with other microbes, bacteria, buvaria. You usually don't get so much in an area that like you get a huge infection event, right? This, these things kind of happen very more discreetly in nature. But if a population were to concentrate, kind of like what we see in agriculture, then you, know, you might see more of those pathogens kind of erupt. And if you get too much of them, and this kind of thing happens. That's what we do when we apply BT or other microbes. It's a matter of concentration, but it's also a matter of viability, like you said, with the BT and keeping other products effective for longer.